And in this video, we're going to show you how to convert gas pressure from one unit to another. As we saw in the previous video, there's lots of ways in which we can talk about gas pressure and atmospheric pressure. And so let's say we had something like 12.6 pounds per square inch of pressure. How do you convert that to pascals? Or we had 765 millimeters of mercury. How do you change that to inches of mercury? Or let's say you had 640 torres of pressure. How do you convert that to atmospheres? And let's say you had 1200 millimeters of mercury. How do you turn that into the standard units of pascals or newtons per square meter? So there's some easy ways to do that. So let's show you how to do that one at a time. So we could, of course, convert from pounds to newtons and from square inches to square meters, but it's just a lot easier just to realize that atmospheric pressure is 14.7 pounds per square inch, and atmospheric pressure is also 101,325 pascals, things we can readily get out of the back of each of the textbooks that we have. So we can simply say we're going to multiply this, so this is equal to uh, 12.6 pounds per square inch, and we're going to convert that. So the standard units for pressure is 101,325 pascals, and that's in 14.7 pounds per square inch. Notice that the pounds per square inch will cancel out with that, and that we just use that conversion factor to go from pounds per square inch to pascals. So now with the calculator, we say 12.6 divided by 14.7, that gives us 0 0.857, multiply times 101,325, and we get 86,850 pascals or newtons. This is the same as newtons per square meter. So that's the standard unit of pressure. This should be an N right there, and newtons uh, per square meter. All right, so that's how you convert from inch, uh, pounds per square inch two pascals, which are the standard units. How about from millimeters of mercury to inches of mercury? There we're going to use a conversion from millimeters to inches. So this is equal to 765 millimeters. Oh, I'm not writing millimeters very well here. Let's try it again. Mm of mercury. And now we're going to multiply that times the conversion. We want inches at top, millimeters at the bottom and one inch is 25.4 millimeters. Again, a unit conversion you can readily out of the back of most textbooks. So now we take 765, divide that by 25.4, and we get 30.1. So this is equal to 30.1 inches of mercury. All right, next. How about if they give it to you in tor? Remember, a tor and a millimeter of mercury is exactly the same. So we can say this is equal to 640 tor, and then do the conversion. We want atmospheres and tor at the bottom, so tors will cancel out, and one atmosphere is it's 760 tor. Remember that one millimeter of mercury is the same as one tor, named after Torricelli. So divide 640 by 760, and you get everything in terms of atmosphere. So 640 divided by 760, and we get 0 0.842. So 0 0.842 atmospheres. All right, and finally, let's say you get something in millimeters of mercury, and they want you to convert that to pascals against standard units. And again, I would do the same kind of thing like we did over there. We know what the atmospheric pressure is in pascals. We know what the atmospheric pressure is in millimeters of mercury, so we'll use that conversion. So this is equal to 1,200 millimeters of mercury and we'll multiply that times the conversion. We want atmospheres and millimeters of mercury. And so one atmosphere is 760 millimeters. And so all we have to do is divide the 1200 by 760. 1200 divided by 760 equals, and it turns out that is equal to 1.58 atmospheres. And so that's how we can easily convert from one to the other. Remember again that in chemistry, Typically, we'll be dealing with, uh, not with atmospheres as much, but sometimes with millimeters of mercury, and most of the time we'll be dealing with, where am I, where am I? Uh, in pascals. Pascals is the standard units for pressure, and we use that in most instances. So, there you go. So if you're ever faced with some problems where you have to convert from one to the other, this will probably get you through most of those. Good luck with that.